Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and we're going to look at normal distribution and solving for the probability that x is greater than a given value. Remember we've got three simple steps. First, convert your value of x to a z-score. Locate that z-score in your cumulative distribution table and then interpret the area from the table in the context of the question you've been asked. At six months old, an English Bulldog puppy weighs on average 30 pounds with a standard deviation of four pounds. If the weights of the puppies are approximately normal, what's the probability that a puppy is selected and it weighs more than 36 and a half pounds? So what we see is we see this area represented on our curve and we know that our X is 36 and a half pounds. So we have 36 and a half pounds. We're gonna solve for the area to the right. So we have to convert that 36.5 to a z-score. So we simply take 36.5 minus our average of 30. We divide it by our standard deviation of four pounds and we get a z of 1.625, which we're gonna round up to 1.63. So we know that we have a positive z of 1.63. So I've got an excerpt from our normal distribution table and we're looking for 1.63. And so now we're gonna come over until we get to our three, stretch over there and we know we're at 0.9484. So we had the area associated with that positive Z of 1.63 as 0.94. 0.9484, but remember we wanted to solve for greater than. We know that this cumulative table always shows us the area below, so we have to take one minus our 0.9484 in order to get that area above um, 36 and a half pounds, and that turns out to be 0.0516. So we can say that the probability that a randomly selected bulldog puppy weighs more or 36 and a half pounds or more is gonna be roughly 5.16%. Because remember the area that was represented in that cumulative distribution table was this area under the curve here, which again we said was 0.94. 84 and remember what we were looking for was this area up here. So I hope that this helps explain how to find an area to the right of a value on the curve and as always I thank you for watching.